Oh hell yeah. So this is the very first bit of sponsored content I've ever done. They have given me a product to test out. I'm really excited for it. Oh, damn. This sent me more than I thought, okay. So a couple weeks ago, Arctic contacted me. Arctic is the maker of like CPU uh, fans, and I guess thermal compound too. They also do custom GPU uh, shrouds and coolers like that. And the manager of North American sales contacted me, or at least US and Canada sales, and asked if I wanted to test out one of their CPU coolers. And this is it. And I guess also they sent me uh, some more thermal compound, which is very nice because I'm I go through uh, Arctic Silver like crazy. So that's very nice of them. They've sent me uh, the Freezer 33 Esports Edition in white because they asked what color I wanted. Because on their website they have green, yellow, red, and white. And I, for some reason they don't have blue to match my build, but you know white's the most color neutral one of those. And they also sent me some thermal compound, so, uh, four grams. That's very nice. So thank you, Arctic, for sponsoring this channel. So let me look at that in a second, but I was not expecting to get this. So on this chart here on the back, it stated that the um, this was tested on the GeForce 8800 GT, probably a long time ago, August 2010. Okay, yeah, long time ago. So they have some other thermal compound uh, used. And this graph actually, um, it looks a little bit misleading because of how close together these numbers are and they really spread it out. Like, this is 78 degrees and this is 73 degrees. And it looks like a huge jump when this is only a five degree jump. Uh, test will be coming soon. This is just kind of an unboxing video, I guess. Okay, nice. So they even have cooling performance on AMD 1800X full load. They have the eSports edition, 51.8 degrees here being shown. Freezer 33 plus, 55.9, and then the Wraith cooler from AMD, probably the stock one. What the fuck? Get off of me. What do you... What do you want from me? So they're probably talking about something along the lines of uh, the cooler that comes with the R5-1600 and then the 1500X, but here I do have the stock cooler for the Ryzen 5-1600. So this is kind of saying that full load, the 1800X is getting 78.8 degrees, and then this one will shave off over 25 degrees. So I will be putting set that to the test, but I won't be using the 1800X, I have the 1600. So this will be compatible with anything in the last eight years from Intel, and then AM4 as well. So there will be a link in the description for both of these products and their website. Again, thank you. Oh, and they're carbon neutral. So thank you, Arctic, for sponsoring this video. I will be opening this now, and then I will get straight to testing. The testing video might not be out for a while, considering I uh, this is Thanksgiving tomorrow, and I'm going to have to go places. Hey, that's cute. They gave me a free phone, too. Look at this. this that's also a sticker. Okay. So I can put that on things. I'll put that in the heat sink maybe. This seems to be the mounting hardware. Nice little compact box. Get out of here. Okay, so this looks like my Intel bracket maybe. So here's our MX4 thermal compound. And then we have, oh shoot, I just dropped a screw. Ah, fuck, it's gone. Here's the AM4 screws. Nice, they're nicely labeled until 2066 and the 2011. It's for the enthusiast platform. And then we have anything from the last eight years on the mainstream side. Nice, and I'll figure out what I just dropped in a second. So here's the cooler itself. Oh, that just barely fits in the box. That is a tight fit. Oh geez, don't fall and break. Nope, oh, and there's the other screw I just dropped. So these are for something, definitely. Okay, ooh, and this is a big cooler too. Oh, and here's some more stuff. Another little box. This just looks like to be the PWM connectors. And it is. Oh, and you can daisy chain them too, so they can run off the same uh, little port here. 
each fan has their own daisy chain uh, kind of unit thing, so they were just connected by default. And then looks like you can run another probably off the same port. And these are all four pins as well. So this could be just be run off uh, a single port. And that will look really good in a case like this. That's what you'll be seeing in your case. So this heat sink is about $50 on the website. And then the MX4, rated for eight years of durability, is available for $8 on the website. Now, if you do have Threadripper, there is a specific cooler for Threadripper. Now, uh, it's just like this. I think it has a bigger surface, though, I assume, for the mounting. And it costs, I think, a couple dollars less. Wow, I have no idea what these screws are for right here. Probably for something important. And I assume these brackets, um, Intel might be one of the ones on the side, and then Andy might be these very end ones. Because they have kind of a straighter thing going on. Oh, I just realized. So that little Samsung phone is the manual. So manual online in, in uh, different languages. So I guess you have to get a QR reader to see the manual. Okay, that was quick. English. Aim for socket. Preparation. Okay, so you have the uh, stock cooler. You're gonna remove that. You're gonna clean that. You're gonna unscrew that. You're gonna take the fans off the cooler. Oh, okay, these two screws screw on the uh, the brackets that are right here. That's what they're for, obviously. You know, you peel off the little back and then you uh, put the thermal paste on the heat sink. What? And it's like, yeah, this is correct, do some lines. And then it's incorrect, did not do even lines. You gotta do even lines. So I guess I'll try this method then. I'm gonna box this stuff too. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm sorry, this isn't coming off right. Well, the graph's ruined, but that's okay. So here's this, the Arctic MX4 Thermal Compound. Again, this is $8 for 4 grams on their website. And I guess it'll give you like little readings right here for how much you have left. Which is nice. With the Arctic Silver I use, not the same, this is not the same brand. But it has the same name, Arctic Silver. I like these tubes, because <laughs> this is a 12 gram tube. And you get um, little measuring things with it. It's pretty nice, but yeah, not the same brand at all, even though it's called the same thing. With this cooler to take off the fans, you just, you lift up on the metal thing. Ooh, I don't want to bend it. I guess you just lift up and pull it to the other side. Oh, and it just stays inside of the um, heat sink. There's a little bit of plastic you can take off right about here. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Ooh, it's very nice. And I will be doing a video on this very soon, but I do have to uh, test everything. I just opened this. So, thank you guys for watching. This video will be coming pretty soon. I'll keep you guys posted, and I hope it's very adequate for $50. That's pretty, well, that's a lot for a heat sink. So I will be testing this against uh, other heat sinks on the market and liquid coolers. So I hope this performs well. Thank you again to Arctic for sending this to me and goodbye.